I wanted to start the show off today, guys, talking about Ninja Gaiden in the future of the franchise. We've talked about Ninja Gaiden in the past on the YouTube channel, but I wanted to talk about the future of Ninja Gaiden and kind of where is Ninja Gaiden 4 at this point because we haven't seen a sequel to Ninja Gaiden in quite some time. So let's talk about it. In an article that was written by Hayes Madsen of Screen Rant, what the new Ninja Gaiden game needs to fix. So Ninja Gaiden is one of the series that helped define the character action genre with ridiculously bloody and frantic combat. As a reboot of the classic franchise then, the new Ninja Gaiden was much different. It's been eight years since the new Ninja Gaiden as Team Ninja moved on and focused on new projects. That means the franchise was completely absent from the life of the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, which I just think is a complete disservice. I know that Ninja Gaiden Z didn't really meet expectations, but I really felt that Ninja Gaiden should have been a game that was, you know, obviously existed in some form or fashion on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. With the new generation on the way, now is the time to reevaluate the franchise. Although nothing is confirmed, Team Ninja is well aware that the fans are clamoring for a new Ninja Gaiden. So, a couple of things. Ninja Gaiden 4 needs a better camera and tighter controls. So Ninja Gaiden was always about fast-paced, frantic action. And because of that, the camera was constantly an obstacle to deal with. This was true in all three games, but it was at its worst in Ninja Gaiden 3, where enemies would constantly attack from off screen. The camera is the number one thing Ninja Gaiden 4 needs to work on, as it's vitally important to any modern action game. Many action titles like Devil May Cry 5 or Astral Chain use a dynamic camera system that helps keep track of the action while also giving players control to move it when they need to. Ninja Gaiden desperately needs a similar setup, one that constantly adjusts to the flow of battles and the number of enemies keeping from uh, keeping from getting too close up to uh, up on Ryo Hayabusa. So I agree with this. Overall, Ninja Gaiden 3, I felt like somewhat similar where you had, you know, I, I feel I agree with the, the statement where the enemies would be constantly attacking from off screen. That was true. Um, obviously, with the older games, we didn't have that issue. But certainly, Ninja Gaiden 4, I mean, obviously the camera, you know, is, is a big talking point without a doubt. And I think that what they're, what they're stating here in this, this portion of the article is, is, is certainly valid. Ninja Gaiden 4 should have a more relatable Ryu. So story has never been a focal point in Ninja Gaiden, but Ninja Gaiden 3 suffered from a severely bland story that really dragged out the experience. Part of the problem is that Ryu is and never has been a relatable protagonist. He's the stoic action hero and a killing machine, but that's about it. Ryu rarely shows emotion, and although Team Ninja has detailed bits of his backstory, it feels like players still don't know him. He has faced demonic monstrosities and world-ending cataclysms, and that needs to be represented in his character. So I, I agree with this, but at the same time, guys, I mean, look, Ninja Gaiden 3, to me, was not as bad as what a lot of people said they thought it was. I, I think that the Ninja Gaiden 3, in particular, that backlash is not as deserved as maybe Ninja Gaiden Z is. I, I believe Ninja Gaiden Z, sure, I, I get all the criticisms there, but Ninja Gaiden 3, I thought overall was pretty good. I mean, sure, I mean, you can kind of nitpick and say that, you know, maybe Ryu needs to have, like, more emotion and he needs to be more invested, of course, in, in, you know, in the story and such. But at the same time, I felt that, look, it's a, it's a hack and slash kind of action-based game um, without much story there, because that's really what it is, and that's what we're there for. Sure, I want to see the continuation of Ryu Hayabusa, but at the same time, I think that the criticism is a little bit too strong with Ninja Gaiden 3, in my personal opinion. So, um, Ninja Gaiden 4 should take cues from Neo. So Neo burst onto the scene in 2017 as a fascinating combination of Ninja Gaiden style combat and Souls like design. Considering Neo takes combat elements from Ninja Gaiden, it's only right that a Ninja Gaiden 4 continues that cycle. Neo's combat stays varied by uh, combining combos with a more thoughtful stance system, making players adapt to whatever stance an enemy is in. It still keeps a fast pace but requires more thought on the part of the player 
than the hack and slash of Nin Ninja Gaiden. So I agree with this. Now, one thing I will say, guys, is that I really hope that the next Ninja Gaiden is not as exclusive to PlayStation, which is what Neo is. And that's been something that kind of bothered me about, about Neo. And I think that it actually has held it back from being a massive game is because it's pretty much exclusive to the PlayStation console. So that being said, though, I do agree with this. I think that Neo has added something, especially in the combat, that makes it unique to Neo. And I think that they could certainly do that with Ninja Gaiden 4. And because of the popularity of Neo, it certainly would help to add some of those elements of what's worked over to Ninja Gaiden 4. So uh, by looking at Neo's combat, Ninja Gaiden 4 could implement some kind of guarding or parring system that requires players to carefully approach enemies and evaluate how they're going to attack rather than just charge in and unleash Ryu's fury. So I agree with this. Like I said, pretty much like a lot of the stuff in this article, I actually do agree with. I think that what with Team Ninja Pride, what they're thinking is, okay, they're, you know, Neo 2 now is, is released and they're probably thinking to themselves, you know what, we just got to go ahead and now instead of maybe working on Neo 3 immediately, let's go ahead and work on Ninja Gaiden 4. We can come back to Neo 3 and kind of go back and forth between the two. Here's the thing, guys. Where's Ninja Gaiden 4 at this very point? Well, obviously, guys, I think it's it's kind of interesting that we're mentioning Neo right now. Obviously, Tim, Team Ninja are also, you know, the creators of Neo. I think after Neo, with, with the second one that has come out now, I think that Team Ninja is probably looking at, okay, let's move into back or give, you know, Ninja Gaiden a, another chance and, you know, kind of maybe, like I said, go back and forth between the two. Ninja Gaiden 4 has been in a hiatus, guys, ever since, you know, Ninja Gaiden Z and some of like just the uh, more recently than not with the games uh, uh, in the Ninja Gaiden franchise have just taken a lot of backlash, a lot of high criticism with these games. And so that's probably why Team Ninja was just, look, anyone who gets a lot of criticism there's going to come a point where you have a breaking point where it's like, okay, maybe we need to move on to something else. And that's what Team Ninja did with Neo. They moved on to Neo and it became a big success. So they're probably thinking, well, maybe now with the success, we're kind of reestablishing our, our name, our brand. Let's move into Ninja Gaiden 4, bring that back for the fans and really try to take some of the things that have worked from Neo and do that in Ninja Gaiden 4. If you were to ask me, guys, I think Ninja Gaiden 4 is probably... Most likely not in development as of yet, but it very well might be. But it's probably in the very beginnings of development, if it's in development at all. Um, I would say that the concepts are probably out there right now because obviously they've been focusing a lot on Neo 2. So I would say that the concepts are probably out there. They're probably, you know, a, a, a significant thought process going into Ninja Gaiden 4 and what, what's going to work and, and things of that nature. I would say that we're probably going to get an announcement most likely next year for a Ninja Gaiden 4, and then we probably won't see the game itself another year or two after that. But that's just what I think, guys. I think that's probably uh, what we're ex what to maybe expect from Ninja Gaiden 4 for all, the, all of you out there, including myself, who are massive fans of this franchise. So where's the game, guys? Right now, I think it's been kind of put into that back burner, that limbo state, and it's probably coming up to the surface closer and closer as we speak. Team Ninja, I'm sure, is definitely cooking up some interesting ideas for a follow-up to some kind of lulls in the franchise, I think is uh, an understatement. But with that being said, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And for all more news and content based around Ninja Gaiden 4, stay with us right here on Zero TV.